jerseyhaven.com. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. All right, yo, man. 15 minutes of fame. I got my guy GQ Prep GQ with his backup like dancers. Me and my guys, man. <laughs> Me and the goons. What's, what's going on, brother? Man, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the love, bro. Fresh off of this comeback. I'm loving the love. Can we this, call it a comeback? I think we're going to call it a comeback. I think it was a great comeback. I think I did I think I think did what they wanted me to do, and I did what they expected me to do. Some people some people didn't expect it. It was a different prep. Yeah, it was a, but that, that was the goal. The goal was to be the best prep that they've ever saw, and I feel like I accomplished that mission. I feel like I definitely accomplished that mission. And I feel like it was a crazy battle. And Lada, one of my favorites, bro. Like, going into this, before this battle, like, me and Lada, I don't know if you heard the ball when he said I tortured Chambers. Like, a year or two ago, me and Lada started going with me back and forth on the mentor student type of level. You feel me? Like, I looked up to him. And then before this battle, me and Lada, I mean, we was like big brother and little brother. So this battle was like a little brother finally getting a chance to jump in the ring with his big bro at the order, you mean, at the order spawn he did with him. And I felt like I, I mean, I proved my point. So let, let, let's go right to the beginning before the fucking first round even started. Yeah. Uh -huh. you, your energy, adrenaline was going. Yeah. And you jumped out the gate and just started it. to go. Lot was it like, so fuck bad, that, bro. we flipping the coin. <laughs> and it was, that made the first round that much more crazy. Yo, yes. Got to fuck up his interview. Yes. Big bro wavy. Thing. Wavy. Back, man. Big bro wavy. Nigga Stop back. ducking the big bro. This nigga man. back, yo. Bitch ass nigga, come find me, nigga. <laughs> You say, bro. My bro, my bro Dre did this thing up there, man. My nigga, back. Ah, let's go. Put on, man. Let's start show, showing love to my bro. Start showing love to my bro Dre, man. He's been putting in a lot of work. He got the best work ethic out of all of us right now. Self promoting. Ain't he the most consistent out of all of us right now? Whether you think he won or lost a battle or whatever you think of him, he's one of the most consistent dudes. Man. People, people, love. people say that about Drake too. Yeah, he's so, one of the most so you, did you have that plan that you Which wanted one? to just jump out before the, the coin flip? No, I just like in the building, I felt like I wanted them to hit me so bad, man. I was like, listen, I can't let nobody, I can't let them hit him first because they they don't have the same anticipation for him that they got for me. They knew what Lada was going to do. He's a monster. Feel me? Regardless of the danger joint, he's been deemed like a monster you feel me? For, for years now. So they didn't have no anticipation for him. So I had to go first. I had to grab all the energy from the crowd from the get-go. I mean, that's why I had, had to go first. I had to. And you got lucky and got to go first. <laughs> exactly. It was almost a problem with that. You seen it? Problem with that. You're right. And I got that fame square. You seen it? <laughs> but yeah, man, that's the big bro lot, though, man. We had a crazy now, one, man. Now, now you this did, over that battle. You, you, oh, they friends. Uh, you did um. You did what you normally do, or you tried to do the rebuttal. Yeah, the rebuttal ain't work. work. It ain't work. Yet, but I made up for it in the third round. Freestyle was yeah. crazy. At first, I was like, yo, I said, yo, he mentioning shit. That just happened. That just happened. That's but the but the point that it wasn't even that I was mentioning stuff that was just happening. It was that I mentioned it, and it was crazy as if. You feel me? Like it was a written ball. Yes. Yeah, man. And when you brought out Robin Ron, just ah, you shook the building. Work, I said, oh, shit. Come on. But I don't know who peaked it. But Lada like Tay took Robin and brought him over to his side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it. But it was too late for that. You feel me? It was already done. Robin is a bad mother. Mm. Mm. Listen. So, all in all, how did you like your performance? Did you come up like, and do what you wanted to do? Yeah, I think I set out to do. I think I did what I set out to do. I think it could have been better. It could have been better. My first could have been longer. My second could have been crafted a little better. And I didn't write for the third. I, I didn't want to write for the third. I wanted to do the, the closed joint and then the uh, who's giving a shot joint. And I wanted to free. I'm a free. I like that. You feel me? I just like the freestyle. I like to take that chance to take that risk. You could take the risk, blazer sometimes it's dope. or the blitz. Which blitz? Come on, man. I think they're going to love it, man. I think they're going to love it, man. A lot of friends was asking me, like, yo, I want that prep verse saga back. Or the prep verse John John back. Or the, you know, the prep verse that. I feel like this was better than this. Now, I feel like this was better than this. Let's say this. Did it matter that this was a smaller room? It might have. 
because certain, certain, certain of us, we get more love on a smaller stage, smaller setting than a bigger setting. You get me? Like on a bigger setting, Tay Rock, Clips, Shotgun Show, K Shine, so forth and so forth. In a smaller room, Lada Zay, Chilla, JC, me, such and such, such and such. You feel me? So. I think it definitely played a part. This is what I'd rather be in anyway. You're more intimate with the fans and they listen to what you gotta say. They're not up there. It's not a popularity contest here. On a big stage, it's a popularity contest. Here, it don't matter if you're brand new, if you're coming with fire and hunger, they rock you. You gotta respect that. What's, what's next? Anything I'm gonna let the fans decide that. And then we're gonna go online and I'm gonna talk to the fans like I always do. I always talk to the fans. I'm gonna let them dictate who's next, what I should do next. So forth and so forth. We're gonna make it happen. Sign me out, brother. DMV boys, you know what this is. 15 minutes of fame. You thought I had my 15 minutes of fame, right? Back. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go! 15 minutes of fame radio. Now stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. Yeah. Fucking jam right there.